Happy Saturday, friends. Welcome to the Creatives Coast to Coast Blooms, or sorry, Bunnies and Blooms event. My name is Ray with Dizzy Designer, and we're gonna make a cute sign today um, with some stencils, a piece of wood, and some paints. Cute little cutouts that I got. So this came from Hobby Lobby. This was $4.99, and if you go when they're on sale, you can get them what, 40% off, I think is what they do. I also got some of the paper Easter grass for this project. Using just some stencils that I have around the house. Um, these ones came from Amazon. These are from Essential Stencil. I do have a discount code. If you purchase through Essential Stencil, um, you can just type in Dizzy Designer at checkout and you will save on your order. I also got these from Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> um, these were $2.99. And it's just a cute little kit of gnomes. Hi, Christy. Hello, Kath <clears throat> Catherine. Sorry. Hi, Elizabeth. All right. Let me open these up here. So here's our example sign. Cute little 3D sign. Hello, Connie. Um, I am going to change it up a little bit this time. I think I'm going to do red, white, and blue colors because um, we will have... Hey, Deborah. We will have Memorial Day coming next month and then, you know, 4th of July and all the things over summer. So I'm going to, this one's my spring one for the example, but I'm going to do my next one in 4th of July colors, I think. So you can do this with any stencils, with any wood cutouts that you find, any frame. You don't have to use a hanging frame. You could use just a picture frame from like the dollar store or something like that. Let's see. So my first one does say welcome home. I kind of like that. I have this home sweet home stencil. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, Tracy. Um, so I have home sweet home that I could throw on here. I also have a hello and then the welcome that I already used. And then in this pack, let's see. Let's stay home, home sweet home, home. I don't think I'm gonna use these ones. I think I'm gonna use one of these. Hello, hello, everybody. I do think I'm still going to use my little mushroom because that goes with the gnomes and they're super cute. Um, and I'm going to use a different gnome this time. So in my first one, I used the little striped hat one. I think I'm going to use this one with the polka dots on his hat. Hello, Tamara. How are you? And I think I will stick with, well, let's see here. Yeah. Home sweet. I might be able to fit home sweet up here and then home on the bottom. Let's try it. You know what? Thank you. Hey, Aunt Janet. We're going to try Home Sweet Home. It may not fit all the way like I want it to. I'm going to put Home right up in the corner there. Sweet might be a little bit underneath this gnome's hat, but it's going to be just fine. We're going to make this work. Let me see if I have some tape. I'm out of my stencil tape. Thank you so much for sharing and thanks for the stars. I appreciate that. All right, let's see if I can get this right in here. And we should be good. And then I'm gonna put home right, oh, it's not gonna stay down. We'll see. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna put home right on the um, mushroom like I did in this one. Well then, These brushes are the best. They are from Essential Stencil. So again, if you use, if you purchase through them, just use my discount code Dizzy Designer at checkout and you will save on your order. Hi, Julie. Just gonna use some black paint and I'm gonna dip my brush in here, but then I'm gonna offload a lot of it. Just rub it off. You can even put it on, like I always paint on a towel to keep things clean. Hi, Sue. All right, I'm just gonna, have to work really careful with this because it's not gonna stay down exactly where I need it to. So it might be a little bit, it might be a little bit out of the line. So we'll see. I'm gonna tip you guys down here in just a second. I forgot to do that. Just one second. All right, so there's home. Well, I guess you guys can see what I'm doing and then I can still see you guys. Hi, Susan. Oh no, I think it's okay still. Sweet's gonna be okay, this part's easy. That's the home part that's not, it's right in the corner there and it's just hard to make it flat.
Hey Vicky, hi Ruby. Now if you notice, I'm not filling in obviously the entire little swoosh there and that's okay. This is your sign, you get to make it what you want it. Really this is just to show you that you can make something super cute out of anything that you find at the store. Um, this project is pretty inexpensive. Like I said, this, ooh shoot, I do not wanna get, hold on a second. I don't wanna get anything in the home spot. Cover this up, I think I already got some on there. It should be all right. Um, the sign was $4.99, which I said, earlier and I think that I got it on sale. So if you get them when they're on sale, they're what, 40% off at Hobby Lobby, I believe. Um, the little kit of gnomes come with four gnomes in it and that was $2.99 and then the grass and that was $2.99 too, I believe. I ripped the tag off that, but I'm pretty sure that was the same um, as the gnomes. And then if you have paint on hand at home already, it's super inexpensive and you can Make it match your decor. Do whatever you want with it. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this turned out because it's not down all the way. Fingers crossed, ready? Oh, it's not bad. It is not bad. So here is our start. I'm gonna stencil home on here after I'm done painting it though. So we'll have him sit here and we can just kind of play with maybe right there, the placement. So we'll go ahead and paint our pieces here. How's everybody doing today? Have you guys been watching all the other crafters? All right, I'm gonna do red, white, and blue for my colors. And I like to use Apple Barrel for my stuff. These colors, whoops. Oh, there's a big paint booger. Big, slimy. Sorry. Um, these colors are two blue and flag red. And then just any white. I think this is just, yep, this is just white. Some of them have different whites and they all look the same, but they have different names. And for this, I'm gonna use Forgot to bring down my paintbrush container. That's all right, we should be good. I'm just gonna use brushes for this part. Let's see. I think I'll paint this probably pretty similar to what I did on the last one. So it's just red with white dots. And then I used probably these two colors, some brown colors. T-shirt, thank you, Susan. Hi, Verilyn. Hi, Edie. How is everybody doing today? I really don't remember exactly what colors I used on this mushroom, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Pouring rain. Oh no, it's been pretty nice here, um, but now it just started snowing pretty good. So that's a bummer. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do my, whoops. I'm gonna try to do my white dots first. And like I said, you guys could paint this in any colors you wanted to. You don't have to do gnomes. You could find any other, they have tons of different cute little cutout things um, at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure they have cutouts at Michael's as well. I don't have a Michael's right here by me, so I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that they do. They always have a, a lot of the same similar stuff. And then when I get all done painting and everything's dry, I will go over everything with just a Sharpie marker and outline it. And that really makes everything pop. You could paint, you could do your outlines and paint if you wanted to. I don't have a water jug. Hold on a second, let me see if I have an extra. Forgot my jug upstairs from my last live. Doing a bunch of baking, ooh, that sounds fun. All right, 
right, so help me out, friends. We're gonna do red, white, and blue. So what color should, should we do a red hat with white polka dots? That's what our mushroom's gonna look like though. So maybe we should do that different. And then, cause a little outfit. So we gotta have a red, white, and blue. Tell me how you think we should paint him. I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna work on my uh, bottom part of my mushroom here real quick. I don't wanna smear any paint. So I'm just trying to move around the project. So that way I can keep moving, but I don't mess up anything that I've already done. Any suggestions on how to paint the little gnome that we're gonna work on? Let me show you again. Here's what he looks like. We're going to do red, white, and blue colors. I just need to know what pieces you think should be red, white, or blue. I thought about just doing like a super girly gnome today because I love pinks and purples. That was what I was going to do originally. And then I was like, you know what? We got all of the patriotic seasons coming up or holidays coming up. And so I thought maybe I should do red, white, and blue because then it could be used for a while for all the holidays that are coming up. And then for my little grass parts, I used two different colors of green just to give it more dimension. This one's holly branch and this one is new shamrock. Hat blue with white dots. I like that. I would make the hat blue, beard white, blue. Perfect, you guys are coming through with some good options. Thank you. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna do, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna do opposite on the other side. So I'm gonna do my darker green in front on this side and then I'll do my darker green in back on the other side. Just kind of makes it look like the little grass pieces are moving and more dimensional. Like I said, it looks, I think that paintings look pretty flat until you get to the very last steps when you're doing your details and your outlining and then everything kind of comes to life. Whoops, I did that in the front again. That's all right, whatever, it's what it is. I meant to do it backwards, but it's okay. Then I'm just gonna dip straight into my lighter green. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Lynn. These two colors aren't too terribly different from each other anyways. I might add some lime green in here too. Just to give it a little bit more difference. We'll see. Hello, Trisha, how are you? Okay, so there we go. There's our mushroom so far. I'm still letting those white dots dry. I'm gonna go into my lighter brown. I didn't think I had anything on there. Just wanna make sure and just do the underside of the mushroom. Again, just trying to give it more dimension. The more color you can use sometimes, the better. I'm still gonna let those dry. I do not wanna mix them or I'll have pink smeared everywhere. So I'm gonna go look at my comments again and see what you guys suggested. I think we were gonna go with a blue hat with white dots and then red and white for the shirt, but let me just look again and make sure that's how it came through. Make the hat blue, a white beard, hat blue with white dots, blue with white dots, okay. Shirt red with white stripes. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. And 
Do, do, do. Let me do my dots first again. I think that's easier than trying to do the dots on top. And then I'll just do a second coat probably of the dots, but I feel like it's easier to do the dots first and then paint around them. I have not had a chance to do any of the projects yet today, but I've watched most of them or had them running in the background. At least I should say I've been working on cutting orders all day, um, but I can't wait to do some of the projects. They all look so fun. I might add a little bit of light gray into his beard too, just to give him some more dimension instead of just being flat white. Um, but we'll see when all the colors are on, it might look better. I just worry about like his mustache blending right into his beard. I guess when we do our outlines, he probably will look good. Hi, Karen. Watching lives between baseball games. Ooh, baseball. I love baseball. Yeah, all the projects today look super fun. I just, like I said, haven't had time yet, but that's okay. We'll have the replays up. So if you haven't been able to join today to do them, you will still have a chance to do them later on. We're not deleting them. I didn't do my, I didn't, um, I don't know how to explain myself. I didn't flatten my paint here. I don't know if you can see it. I left it kind of chunky and lumpy to kind of give the beard more texture as well. And I'm gonna grab, let's see, do I have like a light peach? You know what, I think I do over here. Just a second, friends. I'm gonna use, this is actually a folk art color. It's called uh, Seashell Pink. And I'm going to use this as his skin tone. I'm not even going to clean my brush off. I'm just going to dip it right in there. So he's going to have his little face that's showing. It's going to be pinkish. And then his nose and his hands. Did I do that? Nope. I did like a, I think I did toasted marshmallow on the last one. So he was just kind of a creamy looking gnome. He wasn't. It wasn't rosy like this one's gonna be. But this one is like, I guess that's spring too. Maybe this one's more of a summer gnome. So he's got a little bit of a sunburn going on. Maybe that's why he's rosy. go. Hi, Deanna. How are you? Okay. Now, I'm going to go up here and paint around his hat with the blue. My hands are kind of shaky, so I'm trying to be really careful and not get my lines There we go. I think that's all right. I think this is going to be so cute. I have a hard time doing the exact same project twice in a row. So usually if I make a example piece for you, it's going to be slightly different when I paint it. Um, I think that's good. I think it gives you different options. It shows you that you can do things different because the idea isn't necessarily to copy everything that you've seen. You can, but the idea is to encourage you to create your own fun art. So I think by showing you multiple options, it just kind of gives you more ideas. 
Yes, big snowflakes. I did. I just looked out the window. It's crazy. It wasn't too bad earlier. Now all of a sudden, it's winter again. Hopefully spring finds us soon. Hi, Sherry. just kind of spin my pieces around so that I don't get my hands too much in the paint. Guys, when I'm done painting, oh look, I've got stuff on me. I'm usually covered in paint. I'll have it all down my arms. Sunny in 87. Whew, I am jealous. That sounds nice. I don't like too hot, but if it stayed in like maybe like the 70s all the time and the sun was out, I would be a happy camper. I do like a good thunderstorm. I'm not really a fan of snow. It's always really beautiful the first time it snows for the year, but after that, I'm good with no snow. All right, there's our gnome so far. I'm gonna put him aside because I'm afraid I'm gonna smear that blue all over the place. Hey, Diane, I am painting. I'm just doing a sign. I'm showing you guys how to do a welcome sign. This came from Hobby Lobby, so just the board. And then the pieces, let's see, they sell little kits, um, wood pile, wood kits. So I got little, the gnomes in those, and then I got little Easter grass. So all this came from Hobby Lobby, and then I'm just using some stencils that I had laying around the house. And so the one that I'm doing today is going to be 4th of July colors. We're doing, or I shouldn't say 4th of July, patriotic colors. So it'd be good for um, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, all the all the patriotic stuff that we have coming up here throughout the next few months. So I switched back over to my mushrooms. We'll finish this part up while we're letting that dry. Oops, I went right over my line, that's all right. I got about half of the orders cut from yesterday. So I think I've got six more to cut, which I'll probably do tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be done down here after this, um, but everything should go out on Monday. I can't sit still, I just keep moving around. Hi, Pam. I will be live. Um, anybody that knows me knows I go live every Friday morning. I'm going to do Tuesday afternoons this month as well. So I'll be live again on Tuesday afternoon. Um, let's see. We just launched all of our B kits yesterday on the website. And then... I have got some baseball kits that are launching on the 7th and then some Mother's Day stuff that'll come out later on in the month as well. So we've been busy around here. So there we go. Just got to fill in the red paint. And then I actually can stencil um, the last home on here as well. And this piece will be done except for the detailing. So this really is not, it doesn't take a long time. It's a simple project, but you can make it super cute. Yes, Melissa, yours is, I believe yours is actually the next order on my list to cut. So yours will be shipping out on Monday as well. goodness that that sucked I totally went into my white spot it's okay I can go back and fix it see I went where is it at on here oh here right over the line but I can go back and throw on another coat of um, white after the red dries and cover it up and you won't even know that I made a mistake
Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, actually. I almost dipped that in blue. That would have been that would have been bad, but you could have had a purple mushroom. All right. So there we go. I gotta fix up some of those spots, but we're doing good. Not doing too bad. Here's our gnome. He's almost dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on his shirt. I'm gonna do mostly red. I'm gonna do a white stripe. He looks like he's wearing a dress, but it is a boy gnome, so. We're going to call it a shirt. I'm going to do red and then just a white stripe. And then I think I'm going to give them black boots. And these little parts around the hands, like the little curves, those can be challenging, but just got to take your time. Or just paint outside the lines. That works too. Sorry, friends. I know I get kind of quiet when I do these little tiny pieces. They just take all of my concentration, I guess. There we go. I'm going to wait to do the white stripe in the middle a minute. I'm going to do his black boots. And then I guess I'll go through and do my stenciling on the note or on the mushroom. Pick up my bigger brush here and finish these shoes. It's weird, I thought I heard somebody at my back door. Okay, so there you go. You get the gist of what he's gonna look like. We gotta add that white stripe in a minute. I'm going to go back over here let me bust out my gun here real quick, my heat gun. It's almost dry, but I want to lay the stencil down flat and I don't want to smear anything, so I want to make sure it's fully dry. dry so home sweet is what I have on here right now and then I'm going to stencil the last home right here on the um, mushroom I'm just going to hold it down where my stencil brush go again dip it in offload it so it doesn't look like there's any I mean it's covered but it's not clumpy or anything home on the bottom. Hi, Angela. And that'll go here. Gotta finish our gnome and we'll put him on here somewhere and then we'll add our grass. And I'm gonna go through and do my white dots again. Fix those up. And then we gotta do our detailing still. I'm not going to do a second coat on all the colors. I'm just fixing up my polka dots. So 
Come back over with some white in some areas, but probably not all of them. Just the ones where I went over my lines pretty badly. I feel like this one just got completely covered. No, I think that I ended up going back over all of these, but that's okay. I feel like they they lost their shape after going back through with the red. So I just kind of brought them all back to life. Thank you. I'm going to dry it because I do want to go through with the um, marker here shortly and outline everything. Let it finish drying on its own, but I give it a good start there. And then I'm going to do my white stripe for my gnome's shirt over here. There I go outside of my lines again. See if I can fix this without changing it to pink. There we go. Same thing, I'm just gonna toss some heat on here to let it dry a bit. Hi Vicky, hello April. And I'm gonna fix up the white polka dots over here on this hat. Sure, buddy is about to come in here. All right, I'm on my life. Okay, I'm on my life. Have fun, okay? Hello, hello. You can say hi, but you gotta make sure you get your pants buttoned up first. Debra said hi, buddy. Hi, All right, have fun at dinner. Be good, okay? Hello, tell everybody buddy. I said hi. I'll tell, I'll tell everybody I said hi. I'll tell them Billy said hi. Okay. Yes, All right, thank you. I Bye. See him again. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. All right. So let's see. Where else do I need to do? Do I need to do anything else to this? I don't think so. So we're just going to do our outlines now, and then we'll glue everything down, get our grass on there. And we'll be all set. So I've got two different size Sharpies like around his face here. I think I'm going to try to use this little tiny one. I don't know if it'll show up or not. Yep, it will. Maybe even around his hands. We'll see. But I just like to outline everything. I think it makes everything pop. Makes it look finished. You can use a paint marker, you can paint to do your outlines. I just like to use the Sharpie pen, it makes it quick and easy. Sorry, I'm not gonna be looking at comments here for a second and I'm probably gonna be a little bit quiet just because I'm trying to Follow my lines and not mess anything up. I do my edges too, just pulls it all together. You don't have to outline it perfectly, I don't. I just kind of squiggle around the edges.
see he's coming to life now we just got a circle or circle we just got to outline his circles here or polka dots and I'll finish outlining his head a little bit There's our little gnome. Let me get this off the screen. I hope that didn't mess anything up. And then we're going to do the same thing with our mushroom here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my heat gun so that can start warming up. We're getting near the end here. just outline around it I don't necessarily get every single thing Angela it's not one of my kits this is um just some stuff that you can pick up at Hobby Lobby just trying to show you how you can make some cute signs so I got the boards at Hobby Lobby um the gnomes came in a little kit from Hobby Lobby and then I also have some Easter grass that came from Hobby Lobby um and then the paints I had on hand and some stencils that I had on hand as well so it's not a kit unfortunately but stuff that you should be able to get easily from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree always has um, cute little cutouts as well. Just wanted to show how to make something cute with stuff that you have on hand or could easily get from a local craft store. There is our little gnome. So we're done with all that. And then I just figure out where I want to place my pieces um, on my board. And then, so here's our original that I had for my example. Slightly different. And then I just use this Easter grass right here. Um, and just kind of line it up where I want the pieces to go. So I'm going to do my gnome over here I don't know I think that looks all right then you can still see that it says sweet I want the words to stick out still and I just will stick a pretty decent pile of grass over here on this side to fill that space I'll stick a little in the middle here and some on the edge And I'll shape it. It won't be all wild like that. Let me see if my gun's heated up here. Yep, we should be good there. So I'm just gonna glue down my pieces. I think that I used hot glue on these too. I don't think I used my other glue like I normally use. You guys can probably see me shaking with my glue gun here. to grab a new glue stick out. Hi, Susan. Um, I might be good for now, actually. And I'm just going to stick a pile of glue over here and cover it up Ugh. Oops, with my grass. Making a mess here. Let 
You probably want to be somewhat quick with it, otherwise it'll dry up on you. You can trim it down with scissors if you want to when you're done too. So I might just do that with these pieces that are kind of crazy there. Oh, my little base fell off of there, so I'm just trying to stick it down next to me. Anybody else dislike the stringy pieces that you get from the glue gun? Hi, Karen, thank you. This is good. I'm going to stick a little bit more grass over here. I feel like it's kind of too skinny. All right. Well, that is it, friends. Let me show you our final project here. I'm going to unplug my thing so I don't forget. Like I said, you can take some scissors and trim it down. I don't want it to be super long, so I'm gonna trim in here a little bit. So there you have it. So anybody that wants to do the selfie challenge, um, you will be entered into win a prize. I'll go ahead and, yes, I've heard if you put your glue sticks in the freezer, really? Awesome. I've never heard that. I'm going to have to try it. All right, guys, if you want to take a selfie, I'm going to go ahead and hold up my sign and smile so y'all can take a selfie with me and then post it in the um, group and you'll be entered to win our prize. So here's our original one. Here's the one that we did today. I actually think I like this one better. I like the red, white, and blue. So here you go, guys. Take your selfies. All right, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Um, if you're new to me, hit the follow button. I go live every Friday morning and I'll be live every Tuesday afternoon this month. Um, and stick around, we've got our next crafter coming up here in just a little bit. I hope you guys have a great weekend, bye.